I have no choice. I need a better place, so I decided to make a, a better shelter for me. It took roughly two months and a lot of donated wood pallets. But Alan Parr, a man who says he's been homeless for five years, built himself a shelter while he tries to figure out a way to get home. Parr is from the Philippines. He says he came to Canada to work in the Department of Social Welfare and Development, but could only find part-time work before being fired. Parr says he was fired without being given a reason and despite his best efforts, has struggled to get work since. He spent years living in shelters or under bridges, braving winters that he said felt so cold he would cry. Tired of living on the street, he used carpentry skills he learned from family members and built a house. This pallet shack brought in job offers from interested construction and renovation companies and brought dozens of people out to support him with donations of food and water. I have opportunity. <laughs> I feel tired. And I'm very thankful to the people that gave me a help, gave the help. So I'm very thankful to everybody to visit here, to so my house. So. so I hope he he gets a job and he just you know lives his life good and stuff like that. And I mean he's obviously got skill to build something like this. I mean it's pretty nice. Compassion because you know what uh, we all go through a lot of journeys and challenges in life and it's just so happened it's our brother here and he needs a helping hand. Right? I gave him the water and my uncle gave him the Pepsi and then I gave him the cookies also. Parr says being homeless is exhausting and stressful. That's why he began asking for soon-to-be recycled pallets to build his house. Other materials like tarps and rugs were offered to him once people saw what he was doing. Parr didn't build this house thinking it would be a solution to his homeless struggle. He just wanted to be off the street while he figured out how to get home to the Philippines with no money or passport. I'm not hopeless uh, because uh, I am, have a lot of plans to my life. So I want to uh, continue my life, a better life in the Philippines. Not better, but I want to, I want the peace of mind. Parr is now being helped by some people who chose not to be named. They are working with Toronto and Winnipeg's Philippine Consulate to get Parr a passport and have started a fundraising campaign to get him back home. Parr told City News that he owns a home in the Philippines and will be happy to start fresh there. In Winnipeg, Mike Albanese, City News.